All right, today, guys, I'm working on this uh, four season bumper um, order that came in a couple months ago, actually. And I'm a little bit behind on orders right now because of the work that I'm doing on my car. All right, so I just put a skim coat of filler all across the mold line there because this is a two part mold, and we got this mold line that runs across the top. So I'm going to sand that smooth right now. All right, <clears throat> a few hours later, I don't even know. How long have I been working on this? Couple hours, two hours, three hours, I don't know. But uh yeah, got that uh that fine filler all the way across where the mold line was, and I got it all sanded down with 80 grit in that spot. And I went around getting all the little imperfections I could find, all of them smoothed out with some filler, some fine filler. Um a couple spots here on the edge, uh, a little bit up here on top, filled that in. Put a little skim coat of some dolphin glaze right here and then smoothed it out. Yeah, so all the little imperfections are gone now. So what I'm going to do now is get some 180 grit on a, on a block. And I'm going to start blocking out everything. Because uh, you want the primer when I primer this, you want it to stick. If it's a shiny gel coat like this, it's not going to stick too well. So you want to scuff that up with 180 or 220. All right, and there's the bumper sanded down with the blocks, 180. Use two different blocks in this. Use a soft sander block and a big block for all the hard to reach areas. And it came up pretty nice. So now this thing's ready for primer. And I'll be using some black poly primer. That stuff feels pretty good. So any imperfections that I missed, little pinholes, and the filler will be filled in with that uh, primer because it's a high build primer. Because you know when you use a uh, filler, sometimes you'll miss like real small, tiny little. Uh, and I went over it with some glaze putty too. Usually that's what you use to get those little fine pinholes out. But anything that you missed, that uh, Poly primer will fill right in real nice. So yeah, this thing's ready for primer. Um, and then it should be ready. Alright, this is the four season bumper. All primered up. With some poly primer in black. You can see I dabbed a few spots where I missed a couple little pinholes here and there. Then I'll sand right out. And a couple right there that I missed. And a couple on the bottom. So, see right there, a little dab, a little touch up of primer. Any little pinholes that I missed, because sometimes you miss them, you can't, it's hard to get them all. When you're putting, when you're putting filler down, it's hard to get them all sometimes. So, so I'll let that dry overnight and it'll be ready to ship tomorrow.